Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to buy a Minecraft server at Apex Minecraft Hosting. We're going to be going over every single step of buying a server. It's the easiest way to get a Minecraft server set up. As you can see here, we'll be in and out of this video within 5 minutes to get you on your server. And then the video is going to be longer than that because I'm going to go in depth with some of the management and things like that. Just to kind of make sure you're completely well versed in what is going on. But first, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Now Apex is sponsoring this video and you can go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server that does support us we get a little bit of your purchase at no additional cost to you it's literally how we're able to make all these awesome videos so thanks to apex for doing that now let's just go ahead and jump right into it so we are on apex's homepage, the breakdown.xyz slash apex again first link down below that's then going to take you right here where you can just go ahead and click on the get started button from here we want to select how much basically ram you want your server to have for just a vanilla server for like you and three or four or five friends two gigabytes will be good if you're running any sort of mods or a lot of plugins or anything like that for Four gigabytes is what we recommend. We're gonna go ahead and do two gigabytes just for this video. From there, we can go ahead and select how we want to be built. Do you want to be built monthly or quarterly? You can choose either one. And then you want to enter in your Minecraft username. In my case, I'm going to use my alt account right here, right like so. Boom. You can choose a subdomain. This is really cool because it comes in place of like the numbers IP. So we're going to do the 117 by a server, right? That should, that, that should be available. There we go. And then we can select our version. Now, I would recommend for most people, if you're wanting to start a 1.17 server, to go to paper 1.17. As you can see, paper 1.17. That's going to be the best performing version of Minecraft. For server location, select the one that's going to be closest to you. Now, if there's two that are kind of close to you, for example, Dallas and Las Vegas could both make sense for me, you can click the test ping button. The lower this number is, that the that's probably the one you should go with. So Dallas, I'm 92. And then let's go ahead and test Miami really fast. We'll see what the ping is to Miami, 133. And then we'll also go ahead and actually test Vent Hill, Virginia as well. Vent Hill, Virginia ends up being the closest or lowest ping for me, so that's the one I'm going to go with. One of the cool things about Apex, though, is if you're watching this anywhere else in the world, they not only have locations in North America, but also tons of locations in Asia, Europe, and Australia as well. So it was even South America, so awesome stuff there. Now, as far as all this stuff, this is a very, very worth it if you're, you know, wanting some premium support or something like that. For this video, we're not going to be going over that, though, so let's go ahead and click continue. Now, on the next page here, we're going to be able to go ahead and review what we have and what our purchase is. In this case, it would be $9.99 monthly normally, but it's $7.49 currently for our first month. It'll be $9.99 for the second month. Go ahead and click checkout, and then you're going to go ahead and just kind of go through the checkout process. I'm going to do a quick jump cut until we have kind of purchased this server because, well, for obvious reasons, I don't want to give you all my credit card information and all that. So quick jump cut until we have come down here and basically clicked the complete order button. All right, so here we are. Now our email is blacked out here and it is asking for a review on Google. We're gonna go ahead and click no there. We can continue on with the tutorial. Now, here's the thing. This is the basically getting started information that you will need when you buy your Apex Minecraft hosting server. So there is a getting started video here, which is worth a watch. I'm just giving it here because watching a video within a video is a little weird. But the one thing that I do wanna mention here is that you will get your new server information in an email. So I'm going to go ahead and open up that email after another quick jump cut and uh, kind of get going and join this server. I'm also going to open up Minecraft in this jump cut. That way we're really ready and prepared. All right, so here we are. So this is the your new server information email that you will get within five minutes of purchasing your server. I had it basically instantly in this case, but sometimes it can take up to five minutes depending on the day. So nevertheless, once we are here, we have some information. So first is your billing account login. That's the account that you use to basically purchase your server during the setup, right? That's how you can manage your you know server, upgrade it, downgrade it, all of that stuff can be done via the billing account. Then we have the panel account. And this is where we're going to log in and basically check out where you can kind of manage your server. Up here at the top, there is the IP address as well. If we go ahead and copy that IP address and then come over here into Minecraft, jump into multiplayer, direct connection here, and then paste in that server and join the server. And then it's going to add us right on in to our Apex Minecraft hosting server right here, right? Here it is. Boom. We are in our server. Uh, I always like to do something kind of a little weird just to show you when we join it again later. It is the same server. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this. We're going to make ourselves a little dirt pillar here just to show you that whenever we join back in that that is the server. There we go. Boom. So this is going to be our indication that this is the same server when we join it in later. We'll also go ahead and grab a piece of wood real fast, put that in our inventory just to show you even the inventory is the same. All right, there we go. So now let's go ahead 
and do a quick little exit out of this. We're gonna just disconnect here, and then we're going to minimize our browser. Then we're gonna get like the panel login here. Now you will have a password listed here, right? You can go ahead and copy that. I don't because we're using my existing kind of account with Apex here. So we click panel login now. It's then going to open up in the background, right like so, the panel. Boom, there we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and log into our panel. As you can see the login information went ahead and loaded for me. And then here we are, right? So here we are in the server. Now for you, you probably don't have multiple servers. I do, I have the server here and this server here. So if I go ahead and click on this one, this is the one we just bought. And most likely when you purchase your Apex server, you will land on a page that looks exactly like this. Here you can stop your server, restart your server, and also go ahead and change the version of your server. Let's say you wanted to play a mod pack, you could select a mod pack in here. Now as you can see, as I mentioned, a lot of mod packs do require four gigabytes, but some such as Amnesia do not, and you could select that if you wanted. From there, I also want to go ahead and mention a few things about the panel. First off, this is the IP address that you can use to join that isn't basically the numbers, right? So as you can see, the subdomain 117byaserver.apexmc.co, we can go ahead and copy that. I'm going to go back over to Minecraft. This time I'm going to add a server, and I'm going to name this by a server 1.17, and we're going to paste in the server address there, right? Then we can go ahead and click done, and now we have the buy a server here, and as you can see, it is online. It has 1337 players. Come over here, you can see 1337 player slots. Let's go ahead and jump in to this server, and boom, here we are, same server, but using the subdomain. That subdomain is what I recommend giving to your friends, just because it's easier, right? It's easier to give your friends that, and then they can join off of that without any problems. So now we can go ahead and again disconnect from the server and come back here. So again, if you want to stop your server, you can do that. Restart your server, you can do that. But what if you want to access like your backend, your server plugins and things like that? To do that, you want to click on FTP file access on the left-hand side here. Now, a lot of this is going to be blacked out. Actually, everything on this page is going to be blacked out. You want to go ahead and enter in your password right like so, which mine just kind of instantly did that. Everything else is blacked out and you can click log in. It's then gonna log into the FTP or your server. Now, as you can see here, here's everything. Here's where you can go in here and add plugins. So you can click add plugins and then you can go ahead and add a plugin in here by uploading on the left-hand side, click upload, and it's going to allow you to upload into your plugins directory, all of that stuff. I accidentally hit backspace, hold on, <laughs> there we go. So you can go into plugins here, click on upload and upload from here. But yeah, that's kind of how you can do that. That's how you can set up basically joining into your backend FTP. You can manage your plugins in here. You can manage your you know world files. All of that stuff can be managed right here. Your bucket.yml, eula.txt, those can all be downloaded. To download something, by the way, you just click on it. For example, we want to download bucket.yml. We can just click on it and it will automatically download in the bottom left down there. Now, that is kind of an overview of Apex Minecraft hosting. That's kind of all I wanted to do. I wanted to give you a basic overview. There is a, a lot more, if we go all the way back here to our panel, that you can do on the left-hand side. For example, you can pull the console and it will show you the console of your server and this is kind of where you can see all the console information all the different info all of that stuff we can go ahead and go back there and then you have other stuff for example you want to see your config files you can edit your config files like your server.properties file all from here you can also come in here and edit things like you know add in whitelist and all that from the console you can do scheduled tasks commands backups how your backups are managed backups are automatically created by the way and that is one of the great things about apex you can access those from there there's a lot more on the left hand side but overall you now know how to buy and join an apex minecraft server Pretty Pretty simple to buy one and then you go ahead and join via the subdomain here on your Minecraft launcher. As you can see again, that is going to be the 1.17 by server Apex Minecraft hosting. Double click on it and it will join us right on in. So awesome stuff. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. And thanks so much to Apex for allowing us to create this video. They are truly the best Minecraft server host out there. We use them to host our own server. Play.breakdowncraft.com right here. This public Minecraft server is hosted 100% on Apex hardware. So again, go check out Apex the first link down below. The breakdown.xyz. Apex. Anyway, my name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.